Hello, in this tutorial we are going to have a look at some of the basics um, in Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud. So we're going to look at some of the um, basic tools that we can use and how to basically start um, drawing in Illustrator. So to get started we need to open up the Adobe Illustrator app. And so Adobe Illustrator is basically used um, to create vector images. So where you might use something like Photoshop to create bitmap images um, or to edit photos um, and to work with photos, you can use Illustrator instead to work with vector images. So um, working with lines and shapes, creating things like logos um, and different graphics for the web um, or for publications. So um, to get started, Adobe Illustrator is just open. So um, sometimes when you open it, it might actually just be, uh, you might just see your wallpaper and nothing else. Um, but to actually create a new file, you need to click on the file menu and click on new. When you create a new document, you'll get this dialog box. You can give your document a name, so let's call it my drawing, something like that. Um, you can choose a profile like print web devices, video and film, etc. I'm just going to leave that as custom for the moment. Um, and you can also specify the size here, so the width and the height of your document. You can change the units from millimeters to centimeters, pixels, inches, um, or points. Those are the main, one, main ones that are used. Um, I'm just going to keep it as millimeters here. I'm going to leave it as 400 by 300 millimeters, but you could type in numbers there to change that. Orientation is basically portrait or landscape. So I've selected landscape mode here and I'm just going to leave everything else as is. So click on OK and that will create a new document. Um, to zoom in and out, you can either just scroll with um, or pinch with the touchpad or scroll with your mouse depending on what sort of mouse you have or you can use the zoom tool down here. Now if you just click with the zoom tool, that will zoom in. If you hold down the Alt or Option key uh, and click, it will zoom out. Okay, but we'll just zoom in uh, there just enough so we can see what we're working with. Okay, up the top here on the toolbar on the left-hand side, we have the Selection tool, and that's just basically to select all of your objects. And we have a range of other different drawing tools here, like Line tool, um, the Rectangle tool, uh, the Paintbrush tool, etc. So to get started, we'll create a simple rectangle. So grab the rectangle tool, just click on that. And if you click and hold down the mouse, you can draw out a shape, draw out a rectangle, um, to however you like, or you can draw out a square. Okay, if you click once without holding the mouse down, it will bring up this dialog box, which allows you to specify the exact um, width and height. So say um, the width of 100 and a height of 50 and click OK or you can hold down the shift key while you click and drag the mouse to draw a square so to keep the width and the height the same okay now you notice this rectangle is uh, white inside with and has a black border so that brings us to this part of the menu up here we have the fill color which at the moment is white and we have the stroke color the fill color is the color that fills your shapes and the stroke color is basically the color of lines um, or borders around your shapes. Um, so I might um, just select this shape here, this square, and I'll change the fill color to um, a light blue and the stroke color I'll change to red. Okay, now it might be a bit hard to see um, the line around this shape that it has actually changed to red. So what we can do is increase the stroke um, thickness or stroke weight. So that will increase the thickness of the line. So we can change it from one point up to something like 10 point, or we can just specify in there um, the actual number that we want to work with and what unit we want to use as well. So at the moment it's just 10 points, but we could change that to 15 point, or we could change it to 15 millimeters. Okay. So um, that's the stroke weight, we've got the stroke color, and we've got the fill color there. You'll see down the bottom here on this toolbar, you can also work with the fill color 
and the stroke color there too. And if you double click on those colors, it will bring up the color picker and you can select um, more than just those basic colors. You can really choose exactly what color you want. Okay, same with the stroke color. Double click that and you get the color picker here. If you've got the color window open, then you can see there's also a color picker over on this side, which is pretty quick and easy to use. If you don't see that, then click on window and color. And that will uh, appear there on your screen. Okay, we can change our other shapes here as well, um, just by selecting them with the selection tool and changing either their fill or stroke colors. And you can also specify the fill and stroke colors before you actually draw um, a shape. So you can specify first and then draw. All right, to select everything, grab the selection tool and just click and hold down the mouse key over everything. And that will allow you to select everything and we can now delete this. If we wanted to select just individual items and you just click on them, um, remember that you can select the um, stroke or the border separately from the actual filled color. Um, and you can select multiple objects by holding down the shift key. All right, just press delete to delete everything. With the rectangle tool, if you long press, so hold down the mouse key on that, or if you click on the little um, arrow underneath it, you'll get more options. So the default option is rectangle tool, but we could also use a rounded rectangle tool an ellipse tool, which we can also use for circles, a polygon, star tool, or a flare tool. So say if I go to the ellipse tool, I can draw an ellipse or an oval, or if I hold down the shift key, I can draw a proper circle. I can also just click once and let go, and then I can specify the width and the height there of the ellipse. If I hold down the mouse on the ellipse tool, I can change it to a polygon tool, and I can also choose the star tool. Okay, with the polygon tool, if you click once, you can choose the, you can select the radius and um, change how many sides it has. So now it can have eight sides. Um, so it could be like an octagon. And same with the star tool. If you click on that once and let go, you can change the radius. Um, there's actually radius one and radius two that you can modify there. So um, you can kind of um, show how that works. You can change the number of points on the star, but you can also um, change either radius to kind of either make it a smoother star or a sharper sort of star. So you can work with the radius there and um, radius one and radius two there on the star. Okay. So that's how to use the rectangle, ellipse, polygon, and star tool. Same with the rounded rectangle tool. Um, it's exactly the same way working with that. All right. To delete everything, either hold down control A or command A if you've got a Mac and then press the delete key. Okay, there's some other tools that we can use here like the line tool. So the line tool, the color that that uses is the stroke color. So um, if you want to change the thickness of a line and the color of the line, you need to change the stroke color and the stroke weight. You can also um, change this, the style of lines as well. You can use the paintbrush tool Okay, just click and hold down to create shapes. Same with the pencil tool. Okay, remember you can change the weight here as well and the stroke color and the eraser tool as well, which is not working. Okay, so with the eraser tool, it won't um, work on any shape unless you select it first. So notice that I've got this curve here selected. And now I can erase it. If I select this shape here and grab the eraser tool, I should be able to erase that shape now. So make sure you've selected it, the line that you, or the shape that you want to erase before you actually start using the eraser tool on it. What we'll also look at is um, the pen tool and the scissors tool. So first I'm going to create a line. And then what I'll do is grab the pen tool over here. And what I can do is actually add extra anchor points to this line. So I can just click and add extra anchor points. So there's a little plus sign next to the cursor. If you click on anchor points, 
then you can delete them. So it changes when you move over a little uh, anchor point, it changes to a minus and you can erase that anchor point. Otherwise, if you move anywhere on the line where there is no anchor point, then you can click to add one. All right. Now with the um, eraser tool, if we long press that, we can change it to the scissor tool and we can select anchors. So we can click on one anchor and then another anchor point. And basically we can delete between those two anchor points. So we can use the scissor tool to sort of select areas that we want to delete on a line rather than using the eraser tool. I'll just change that back to the eraser tool. Um, with the pen tool, when we add these anchor points, there's something else that we can also do. So if we um, grab the direct selection tool, we can grab these anchor points and oops, let's undo. We can grab these anchor points and we can click and drag to um, move that line around and we'll change the shape of that line. Okay, so select the shape first and then use the direct selection tool to basically drag those anchor points around. You can even join lines together that way. Okay, so that's the direct selection tool. The curvature tool is also available here. So with the curvature tool, you can click um, on individual little points here and create curved lines. Okay, and again, if you go back to the direct selection tool, you can um, select the shape and then move those anchor points around and also the handles as well to change the curve. So anchor points there are the little squares. You move those and that will actually move that part of the line. And the handles are the little circles there. And if you click on those and drag them, that will actually change the curve. All right, so that's a combination there of using the curvature tool and the direct selection tool and also using the pen tool to add extra anchor points as well so then there's more uh, more areas that we can work with here and more points that we can sort of manipulate okay um, next tool is the type tool which is basically for typing in text so we can um, change the font here and the font style we can change it in bold, italic, we can increase the size of it, and then we can start typing in there, okay? We can modify that to however we like. So that's the type tool. One last thing I'll mention is just being familiar with the keyboard shortcut. So being able to do things like undo by holding down Command Z um, or Control Z on Windows, and things like copy, and paste so we're going to hold down command c to copy and command v to paste okay and making a whole heap of copies of your lines or shapes um so command c to copy command v to paste or control c and control v on windows if you're not using a mac um and also being familiar with, with things like uh zooming so when you zoom in you can click to zoom in or hold down alt or option to zoom out but you can also zoom in by clicking and selecting or dragging the mouse on certain areas that you want to zoom in on okay right down um, as far as you want to go okay so those are some of the basic tools um, and features of adobe illustrator thanks for watching